Hello, hello, hello. It is time to make art with Mrs. M. I'm back today with a new video for a fun activity I like to do with my family. We have been to the mountain and we have collected apples. We have picked apples in the mountains of Virginia and it was so fun and it was just a whole day of hanging out, picking apples, exploring nature and eating good foods made from apples. There's so many things you can make with an apple. So many drinks, yum yum. So let's make art. I'm gonna show you how to draw a basket of apples. The very first thing I'm going to do is start by um, drawing the basket. I've gathered my crayons here. I have reds and greens and browns. And I think I'll probably need some blue for the sky, but <clears throat> I'll grab that later. In the middle of the page, I'm going to make a curved line for the edge of the basket, right? It looks almost like a slight smile, like that. And then the sides of the basket uh, lean in a little ways. It doesn't go straight down. They lean in a little ways. So I'm going to do the sides of the basket now. See how they just slightly lean inward. Okay. I'm not going to draw the bottom of the basket because it's sitting on the grass and there are a few apples on the ground. So I'm going to take the red and I'm going to draw a few apples. Uh, when we picked apples, we had a choice of what kind of apples we wanted to pick. There were so many apples on that mountain. So I made my apple by making a little dip in the top and make it round at the bottom. Apples are so delicious. Whenever I get groceries, I always buy a few apples to keep them ready for a nutritious snack. Okay, I'm going to draw an apple. Oh, notice that my apples are in different directions. And this apple is a little behind this one. So there's some overlapping and I'm going to draw an apple that is sort of behind this basket, too. Sort of behind. I'll do that on this side, too. Draw one that's sort of behind over here. Okay, now I'll go back with the brown and I'll add the bottom of the basket on the ground. And it's slightly curved, too. It's a slightly curved line to match the curve at the top. Now I'm going to start filling this basket with apples. Actually, where we went, we didn't use a basket. They gave us bags, but there were plenty of baskets. I think a basket would have been too heavy had they given us one. So it was a good thing they gave us bags. So when I make the apple, I can't see the whole apple because it's down in the basket. I think they call these baskets bushels. Notice when I make the apple, it dips down a little at the top. I'm going to go all the way across the front of this basket and add more apples. And there's one. There, there won't be any apples that are, that you'll be completely able to see the whole thing. But there will be some that are behind the others. There's a quite a bit of overlapping when you have a basket this full of apples. And the apples won't all be going in the same direction. They'll be facing different directions because they've just been tossed in there. Usually when you're apple picking, you're not, you're not putting them in there so neat and orderly because they're going to roll around anyway. I put that little line there because that's going to be where the stem comes out. This has the dip here, but since I drew these this way, the stem will pop out right there. This basket needs to be really, really full. I'll add more apples. I'm going to add more and more and more apples. We tried to get apples that were all the same size, but when we were picking them from the trees, they were there were all different sizes on the trees. 
They all tasted just the same though. They were all yummy. Okay, I think that apple is apple basket is pretty full. I'm going to come back with my brown and add some stems. Also, I'm going to add the stems going in different directions. So it looks interesting that way. Looks more interesting instead of having them all going in the same direction. And some of the apples still have leaves attached. That happened a lot. The leaves were still attached to the stem when we pulled them off. And apple trees, the apple trees that we saw weren't as tall as what I always imagined. I always imagined that the trees for apples would be super, super tall, but we were able to walk right up to the trees and reach up and pick. There are some you have to use ladders for though. Can't forget down here, I need to add a few, a few more stems and leaves. Sometimes I think Apples are just like one of the symbols for fall that we just can't forget. So many times it's pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin. All right, so I'm going to add some designs on the basket to show how this basket is woven together. So I'm going to add the top rim of the basket and I'm just going to add these lines here. Then I'm going to add some lines coming down from top to bottom. Top to bottom. Okay. And now I need to add some lines from side to side. Now I'm going to do two lines. It looks like an equal sign right there. And then I'm going to skip over this row and do it again. And then skip over this little column and do two more lines. Skip this one, two more. Skip this one, two more. And notice that the lines kind of curve along with this, the shape of this curve up here at the top of the basket. So the basket looks more sh round shaped, it's curved. Okay, next, I'm going to start with the ones that I didn't put lines on, and I'm going to put those two little lines on those as well. So two here, and now two here. And two here, and two little lines here. I hope you're noticing the pattern. And so next, we will add along this same first row we used two little lines together. Okay, it looks like I have room to do it a few more times, so let's go. These apples are overlapping some of this, but I can work around it. Okay, and one more time. There, and so the basket looks more like the woven uh, wooden baskets you might see if you go to an apple orchard to pick apples. Now this basket is sitting on the ground and I love to do grass with lots of different kinds of green so I'm, I'm grabbing some different greens. Okay, I have pine green, regular green, and forest green. 
I'm going to use these for the grass. And I like to do grass like a really fast zigzag that looks like you're in a rush. So I added the line for the grass there because I didn't want everything to be all sky in the picture. So I'm adding more of the ground area. And I'm just going to alternate these colors, these different greens to add grass. Then when I'm all done, I'm just going to color over these with a even lighter green. Yes. So grass, grass, grass. It's just a stylized way I like to do it, but we all have our things, and this is one of my things. This is one of my things. I love the grass. Gives it a texture. The grass definitely has a texture. If you've ever been outside without shoes on, to walk in the grass is just one of the greatest feelings. I only do that in my own yard though, so I make sure I don't step on anything sharp or that someone's dog hasn't visited and left a surprise. <laughs> and then I'll take this lighter green and I'll come back and I will color over and fill in all the empty spaces. Green grass, green grass, green grass. The best the best thing about picking apples is being outside and being with family and just doing something fun together where you can talk and laugh. We laughed so much. And one of the girls even saw a butterfly and the butterfly stayed on her hand. I took a picture of it. It was just a wonderful day in nature with family and the sun was shining bright and everyone had a great time. So if you ever get the chance to go pick apples, I say do it. It's something I think you should do at least once in your lifetime. This is looking good and I think I'm going to keep coloring and now add color to the apples, apples, apples. So uh, I remembered when we went to Pig apples that some of them were green so I added green to some of these apples <clears throat> I think that the different tastes of apples the varieties is what makes this fruit so special because if you don't want like one kind of apple you might like another I know in my home one person doesn't like sweet sweet apples he only likes the sour green apples that make your mouth pucker a little bit. And I say that's all right. And there's an old saying that goes, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. There are just important vitamins, nutrients, and things your body needs that are in an apple. That's a quick, healthy snack that you can take with you where, wherever you go. So now what I'm going to do is add a few clouds in my beautiful sky. And, and then color the sky. It was such a beautiful day on the mountain that day. And there were big billowy clouds in the sky. Let's see, I think I need this nice blue. You can barely see these clouds until I color the blue sky. It was so wonderful. I think I think this is going to be the perfect blue. It's very light. Whenever you can find a light blue for your sky, do that. Oh, what I should have done, what I could have done is made this um, sunset colors in this sky. You know when the sun sets and the sky is red and orange and yellow and sometimes it has purples in it. 
that would have been really pretty behind these apples to have a sunset in the sky. Well, I'm going to finish coloring this, but I think this is a great start, don't you? And so one thing that you've done today is you have made a basket of apples. You've included some overlapping, some things in front, some things behind, a lot of overlapping up here. You added a weaving pattern, and I think that's fantastic. And I think that art makes you smart. I say that all the time, don't I? Yes, I do. Art makes you smart. That's my special quote that I like to say. When you come and make art with Mrs. M, it really makes my day. That's me. I'll see you next time.